Hi folks, on today's video I'm going to give you a very brief and high level introduction to medallion architecture and what it means. It's probably a term that you're becoming more familiar with as organisations start to look at their data and look at modern platforms uh, to support processing this data in, in real time and generating insight. And historically when you start looking at things like data platforms it's very common for organizations to start thinking about infrastructure resources, thinking about where that's going to sit on a network and ultimately how data is going to potentially traverse networks to eventually be stored in a service that you need to fully manage and control. And actually what you're finding now with things such as Microsoft Fabric is the need to worry about infrastructure is disappearing vastly or very quickly. And, and actually by using a SaaS platform or software as a service platform, you can just get tracking on with your data immediately rather than having to worry about a lengthy provisioning process. And one of the things that you'll find with Fabric is this term medallion architecture. And if you're not familiar with uh, sort of data formats, architecture, data principles and so on, that might be a term that is brand new to, to some of you out there. But actually what you might find is it's something that you're probably familiar with if you've ever done any sort of development. And the reason for that is all medallion architecture is, is the, the concept of looking at multiple different stages or different layers with your data at each layer providing varying levels of, of quality. Uh, and, and, and the principles around that would be if you, let's say, started off with a bronze layer, which we'll touch on a bit of detail in a moment, and you'll progress through to silver and eventually gold is you're taking potentially raw data and getting it to a point in which a business can start to make meaningful and actionable decisions. So what you can see on the screen here is a, a diagram. This is a, a template from Azure Diagrams. And you can see here a, a rough high level as to how Fabric functions. At the heart of this, you've got Fabric Lakehouse. And essentially, this is an area where we can start to store our files. We can start to, to create tables and essentially where this medallion architecture is going to live and breathe. We can see that we're bringing in data sources into this storage and there's elements around here where we may be bringing in other sorts of data by data factory, potentially transforming it using Spark or, 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 or notebooks and ultimately pushing data out through what we would maybe look at as traditional data warehousing and consuming via reports in Power BI. So let's actually jump into what we mean by medallion architecture and what we're going to get at each, each layer. So if I scroll down a bit further here, here's a, a, a high level example as to how this comes together. So the, the first layer that we're looking at is our bronze layer. And essentially what our bronze layer is, is essentially a, a landing zone for our raw files. So these are typically unprocessed, uncleaned uh, data files from a variety of sources. And essentially, this is a, a staging area where data is, is ingested and stored in its raw firm, raw firm uh, and awaiting further processing. We progress that through into our silver layer. So once we go into that silver layer, this is where some of that magic begins. So here data is cleaned, uh, transformed, optimized, you know, where you may have duplicate records which are removed, data is integrated into a structured format, and essentially getting it to a point where we're increasing reliability and getting it to a point in which the data is ready for analysis. Essentially, this layer is acting as a, a refined and enhanced version of the raw files which have been passed through from the bronze layer. And then finally, we have our gold layer. And what gold layer allows us to do is take that information that we've already got, but start looking at getting it business ready. So essentially getting that data optimized for analytics and reporting and having that data, which is now aggregated, enriched, and potentially in a, a pre-aggregated pre state, ready to support business intelligence, dashboards, machine learning models, and so forth. So with all of that, with that end to end, you can see how we're taking essentially information that maybe means very little to a business and getting it to a point 
where we now can understand the full breadth of our data, how it all comes together and into a point where we can now take that data and not only describe what's going on within it, but allow us to become effective with it. And if you want to stay tuned for some later videos, where we talk a little, little bit more around this. We can start exploring more elements around Microsoft Fabric and how it doesn't just stop at the data level. And in fact, there are multiple different aspects to Fabric, which we can uh, start to make use of. And again, really make our data effective and apply it in day-to-day -day business scenarios.